Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawah Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation of the Akiyam, pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the whole foot like around the globe. Just wanted to share a compilation of clips going into that fruit punch and you know and these athletes dropping. Alright? And you know, as always we're gonna watch the speech because you know, big brother out there censoring every damn thing. All right. So, without further ado, let me, let me bring it back. Last eight months, 2023 alone, this is what's been happening in our news. He was playing a pickup soccer game when he collapsed and went into cardiac arrest. He died at the hospital. The Northwestern High School basketball Fair player use. who collapsed during a game last week has passed away. Fair that use. high school varsity football player on Long Island who collapsed on the field. The family says he is going to be taken off of life support and his organs will be donated. The 17-year-old cross-country athlete at Geyer High School, he walked into this bathroom after a workout with his teammates and never walked back out. His coach found him. They don't know how long he was down, but seconds matter during a cardiac event. CPR was performed, but it was too late. Elijah Jordan Brown Garcia was involved in light football drills last Friday here on the field at Westside Park. He collapsed right near his younger brother. We're still waiting for a report from the medical examiner to find out how this 12-year-old died. Leo Delgado had collapsed on the court during a basketball tournament at Mass Premier Courts in Foxborough. The Haverhill 17-year-old had had a seizure, and then his heart stopped. 15-year-old Kanan Dickman collapsed on the high school track during soccer. Fair use, you know, it's fair use, Sharon, fair use. Practice, Kanan survived cardiac arrest, but his heart needs to rest. He's wearing a life vest. It's attached to him at all times. It alerts him of any issues, shocks him if necessary, and sends out calls for help. Mother of a player on the team performed life-saving CPR until the ambulance got there. But in the ambulance, Piper lost her pulse again. 19-year-old Liam Mildenstein. He collapsed backward and died about an hour later. Different articles. Different news sources. Hello, I wanted to provide an update on um, my son's condition. He is still on life support. He is very likely to need a, a heart transplant. The official diagnosis is myocarditis. Collapsing during afternoon practice, Ebony had suffered the dreaded Widowmaker heart attack. And less than two weeks later, she underwent a heart transplant. The teen was playing basketball when he went into cardiac arrest. Basketball player collapses. Student athlete collapsed. 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 Bronny James suffered cardiac arrest while at a practice. Oscar Cabrera died this week after an apparent heart attack. Cabrera is believed to have suffered from myocarditis. Myocarditis. So we won't touch on it too much. Just sharing, sharing the info. Um, these athletes, a lot of them, is uh, they're saying it's because of myocarditis, which again, going back to the, the whole campaign, we could do the math. All right. So going into the scriptures, all right, and that's fair use. Just sharing. All right, um, for for educational purposes. All right, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10 in the Holy Bible. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. All right, so the scriptures say, never trust your enemy. All right, we are under the rule of our enemy. We are subject to our enemy, but that's uh, prophecy. That's the Heavenly Father's word. That's the punishment that we had to go through. All right. That's why we're underneath the wicked rulers. But nonetheless, you you are to navigate. All right. And try to keep your wits about you. OK, because they want to make you be a, a peon that doesn't question any damn thing. 
Yes, we're in the position of servants who we are, but the Heavenly Father will give us know-how, insight, knowledge, I salve to be able to see and not fall for the deceptions of the devil, okay? All his snares, all his traps. So we have to never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So the same way that iron is going to still rust, this devil's still going to be the devil. No matter how kind he comes, how benevolent, beautiful, or friendly, whatever it may be, he is still the devil, the deceiver, okay? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, all right? That's a powerful word, beware, okay? Be aware of this damn devil, okay? And our people are so willing to fall for the deceptions, all right? That's why you, you are to pray for the, uh, you to be freed from the wiles of the devil, these traps, these snares, all right? Because we are already prisoners, but this devil, this serpent is making its way to, to coil around us and further enslave us and oppress us, starting with the house of Israel. All right. And that's so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, West Indians, you so-called minorities. You're the primary target. All right. That's why the campaign was about us. All right. First and foremost, that's who the, these devils want to target. So we have to beware. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped, wiped a looking glass. Thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. This devil still nonetheless going to be the devil. So set him not by thee. All right. What do the scriptures say? Set him not by thee. Does it, it says you not even to deal with these devils, not to even be near them. But obviously, if we're under the rule of them, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. They are the border of wickedness. They have made all borders, all, all of the earth polluted and perverse and out of order. All right. So we have to be by, by default. We're by him. All right. And they, yeah, they keep us apart in the ghettos and such. But nonetheless, we have these devils ruling over us, even if we're in our inner cities. All right. Because they own everything. We have to go to them for the want of all things, as it is written in Deuteronomy 28 and 48. All right. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. This devil just wants more and more. He wants to sit in the seat of God as if he is God. He's done that. But now he wants to further the agenda. Okay. He wants to creep in how he did over here when he came to the western shores. All right. The Isla of Hispaniola, the, the island of Hispaniola, now known as DR. That's what they named it. All right, Dominican Republic. That's what they, uh, th these devils came, made camp, and took over the whole Western world. So-called Christopher Columbus sh sailed the ocean blue, four 1492. You, all right, we've been in oppression and nonstop hell for centuries. Okay, because this devil came by us, all right, and he stood in our place set him not by thee lest when he hath overthrown thee he stand up in thy place so this devil creeps in as the devils that they are and it's to overthrow it's not to for equality or whatever they're trying to pitch so it's an attack because you so-called negroes latinos west indians are the children of israel make up or, or the 12 sons of israel all right so you're a holy people and there you there's nothing minor about us that it's only their their fake education that has been taught to keep us docile and dumbed down all right their way of life their structure their society but we are a holy people righteous and wise all right and they've removed all that they've removed wisdom they've removed righteousness they've removed our god from us moral code 
all right? And they keep pushing and pushing, pushing now towards your children, pushing now towards you, the control of you, okay? And it's exactly what the scriptures say. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, all right? Isn't there a, a bastard in Ashdod, as the scriptures say, okay? Out there in the so-called Middle East, Holy Land, all right? Are no people standing in the places of princes, all right? That's the attack. It hasn't stopped. It keeps going. No matter what smoke screen, what, what bread and circus they put in front of you, that's still the end goal, all right? Full world dominion, full control of the slaves, the goyim, do away with them, all right? And what was in the Georgia Guidestones? All right. What was in the Georgia Guidestones? Didn't it say to keep um, the human population, roughly paraphrasing, the human population under seven billion, something like that, seven million? Yeah, or seven billion? No, no, one, a half a, a half a billion. All right, five hundred million. That's what they said to keep humanity at five hundred million. In perpetual balance with nature, all right? It's roughly paraphrasing. So if there's 7 billion people on the planet, roughly 7, 8 billion people on the planet, these devils have an attack on 7 billion people, 6 billion plus, all right? To bring it down to the their Georgia Guidestones, all right? So they have a deep population agenda, all right? The elites set him not by thee when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. You got to remember the Heavenly Father's words because this is very relevant. This is the times that we're in. So if we don't stay wise, all right, and I and I stopped this video right there because uh, I believe that special that that particular case of that Dominican basketball player was gonna sh shed more light of why all these people are getting the um, heart failure, rare heart conditions, myocarditis or whatever it said. Right, that there's a link. All right, going back to that damn uh, fruit punch campaign. All right. So be wise, be vigilant. You know what I'm saying? If you took the uh, the fruit punch, you gotta get, ch check it out. It's your D dimers test. You know, check your your blood coagulation. Check um your heart. Get an AKG, AKG, EKG. With Salakia, roughly paraphrasing. You know, scans of your chest and all that. <laughs> but pushing forward uh, we, we have to know who the damn devil is and never trust that enemy especially with his campaign for the sea hip coming soon all right which that's the true end goal to make everybody take the mark the mark all right mark of the beast found the revelation of uh, the 13th chapter all right and see hip all right so we gotta stay wise stay uh, uh, so watch as well as pray watch for these prophecies and pray, stay covered, all right? Give diligence to make a call in an election, sure. All right, so with that, I pray, brothers and the few sisters, was edified to next time, Shalom, all honor, love, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash, Shalom.